Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This is week 27 and I am in my yellow Campania. I don't see it changing anytime soon and in fact I have kind of thought about selling some of my other planners so we'll see if I actually do that or not. My pockets are still the same. I've got pictures, sticky notes in here and then a couple of little stickers in the pocket here. Got some Oli clips, and then on the back, I just have library receipts still for the books that my daughters have taken out, and then my dashboard and pictures are all still the same. I have taken a few things out and added some stuff, but apart from that, it's it's all working and is just how it was before, really. So first up is my brain dump section. And then I did add this library books insert in so that I can take the books from the receipts and just jot them down and kind of keep track of the books that we're taking out. Then I have trigger list, bucket list, read it and log, um, gift ideas, trip ideas, goals, just lots of lists and things there. Quotes, date night ideas. I did also purchase this recipe overview sheet from Plan With B, and I'm just going to transfer some recipes on there. A lot are saved in my phone, so I need to transfer those over. Then my shop section, so I just have a little brain dump here, a tracker, a spends tracker, and then some notes. It's very simple. Next up is my notes section, so I have this beautiful paper here. Um, and then just a bunch of other different paper. So I've got stuff from notebooks, Stalogy paper, SM plans, um, more Stalogy paper. This is some Minnie Mouse paper. And that is my notes section. Next up is home. So I've got um, cleaning trackers, again, task manager. And then I still got this routines overview which I think I'm going to fill out in probably like August, September time, ready for the new term at school. Um, because school finishes in just over two weeks, so I probably don't need that right now. Next, I have my kiddos section. So they've each got a tab. Underneath their tab is a health log, notes page, weight tracker, um, Height tracker, that kind of thing. And then I have the same for my dog. I also have some notes on the cat and the guinea pigs at the back as well. Then I have bills section. So I've just got notes, a bill tracker here and spending logs at the back. Then I have my calendar section. So I've just got an overview here from Paper Test Designs, my memory sheet, and then this is my little colour code for my monthlies. And then I still just have the whole year in here. Um, I was trying to find my Slim File Effects page marker, but I can't find it. So I've just stuck using this one, but I think I would prefer the other one. It sticks out at the top and the bottom, the other one does. Um, so I need to find one of those. I've still got this. I do have a little monthly habit tracker for July, which is going well so far. My dailies, I have the last few days of June in here and I am really liking these inserts. This is where they are from on Etsy and this starts July. So here are those. This is today and then I just have the rest of July in here. At the back I do have some notes pages from Ash Plans just so I can scribble something down if I need to then. I have my weeklies so these are from Paper Tests. Week on two pages and then I am really enjoying the week on one page which is here. So this is this week and then next week and I have a few of those in there. 
Then I have a tracker from Peanuts Panico. So it's just got three weeks on a page and I just track a few little things on there. Next I have a mood log and I did take out the menu and workouts tracker. Um, yeah, I just can't bother to do that right now. So I just took them out. Then next is wellness. So this is from my Manila planner. And then I just have some wellness type journaling sheets behind that. Then my gratitude tracker. And then some of these daily journaling sheets, which I do want to start doing every day, but I just haven't. And then some self-care stuff and information. Um, a workout tracker. I need to catch up on my steps for June. Another dashboard from my minimal planner and then just some pictures and drawings from my kiddos. This felon is from Royal Planner. And then my health section, so nothing's changed here. I have my overall health logs and then I have my monthly check-in pages, which I just use the health logs for that as well. I have a medicine log, a weight tracker, a body measurement tracker, and then cycle trackers. Then I have just some workout notes in the back. And this last little section is my little journaling section. So these are just some prompts from Etsy. I did actually look at the shop earlier and you can't actually get these anymore. But I just sized mine down and printed them and popped them in. And I do just use this insert from Annie Plans to just write there. Then I have some more pictures and a dashboard at the back. This is a pen I'm using because I keep losing my pens. So um, I'm using this point liner as it was the first one I found that actually worked. So I'm just using that. And this is all information from my kiddos school about them moving to the next year up in September. So I've just got all that information there. And then my pockets are still the same and the back is still the same as well. This big packet, I just have my usual, some stickers. I have a letter in there and then a card and a little picture. And that is it. If you have any questions, do um, pop them in the comments down below and I do try and get back to them when I can. If not, you can always um, follow me over on Instagram and I will do my best to help you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.